Hola mis corazones, bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sasha, I am your favorite YouTuber and on this channel, I teach you everything self-care. So please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you are notified every single time you girl up to up the, what? uploads a new video and you get to stick around and join the family. So today, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. We are going to be talking about how to be alone, spending time alone and the arts of being alone. The arts of being alone, 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 alone. <laughs> um, I wrote a couple notes down, so I'm going to be looking down a lot because you know, I got to stay on track. So um, the first thing that I heard, or the first thing that I wrote down is there is seasons of isolation, meaning it's time to prepare. So some of us are currently going through a season of isolation that you may feel like it feels like forever, ever, ever. But could I just remind you that you are okay? Could I just remind you that you can do all things through Christ is who strengthens you? Absolutely everything. Jesus, use me as a mouthpiece for the benefit of your kingdom. Have your will with me, Father. So there is seasons in life for everything. There's a time to mourn. There's a time to be happy. There's a time. And this is crazy because when we're going through the roughest seasons, we feel like there isn't going to be light at the end of the tunnel. But being that 2022 was a year of stretching and pruning and refining, that is exactly how I would describe it. When I was going through that refining process, it did not feel good at all. I felt abandoned. I felt sad, angry. And that is a part of your healing journey. Your healing journey looks like you're okay. And then you are journaling and you're active and you're working out and you're happy and you're smiling and then you're not okay. And then you're like, what the hell happened? And then you're spiraling and then you're sad and then you are not eating and then you are eating and then you're eating too much and then you get what I'm saying. It's like you're actively healing. If you are going through something like that in this very time, I want you to be gracious with yourself. I want you to love on yourself. And this channel is a safe place. It's all about self-development, self-love, healing. And I'm sending you so much love and positive energy and this is crazy because I want to be completely transparent with you guys and 2022 was that year for me, okay? I was mourning the death of many relationships. Um, That was very, very tough for me. But as I'm looking back in 2023 or even like bringing in the new year, that was a very, very rough day for me. I think I was okay on the 31st, but the new year itself actually like hit me, hit me. So I didn't bring in the new year as far as like going out, um, partying or anything like that because it just take that time to reflect and I am not really a party goer and I thought that there was more important things that I could be doing with my time like praying, worshiping and getting grounded and we're ready to bring in this new year. Now before I brought that in, I had to mourn and acknowledge 2022 in its entirety and although I am grateful for life and although I'm grateful for the lessons that was very excruciatingly painful okay and that's the best way I can see it so through the videos you would never guess that right I don't look like what I've been through I get that so much and I'm like is that an insult or is that supposed to be like a compliment because I'm very confused but anyways so there's seasons of isolations, right? There's a season of isolation in your life, whereas take that time to prepare. Isolation is preparation season. It means that he's going to launch you so much further. Who is he? God. He's launching you so much further, so he needs your undivided attention. Right now, you don't have time for distractions. Right now, you do not have time to be in the drama. You don't have time to be at the scenes. You, you are, it's grind season. And when I say grind, I don't mean focusing on the materialistic things or the things that you want to accomplish because at the end of the day I feel like we make our plans and God has his own plans and he just sits back and laughs like that was cute she'll figure it out in due time <laughs> so stop wasting your time go to your maker and let him know father here I am I surrender have your way and teach me and show me what you have for me what am I here for um and I just want to encourage somebody who's going through this season of just isolation one, I want to remind you that it's a season. There is nothing new under the sun and you're going through 
this isolation season and you feel lonely and you may feel like it's just a dark road and there's no light at the end of the tunnel taking it from somebody that's currently going through the season and has gone through the hardest points in 2022 i, I, I would pray and hope um <clears throat> in hindsight it's a beautiful process in hindsight, you don't like pain. No one really wants to feel pain. But when you endure it, when you don't run from it, when you embrace it, and when you really say, okay, Father, what do you have for me? What am I to learn in this season? What am I not going to do again to make sure that I don't end up in this situation again? These are real conversations and looking at that man in the mirror is so important. Just being accountable is so important. In this season of isolation, I want you to unplug from multiple sources. I want you to be embracing this season of your life for those of you who want a relationship for those of you who want a marriage i want to put it to you like this do you want a broken marriage or do you want a whole marriage in order for you to have a whole relationship it has to be two whole individuals it has to be two people that has gone to their maker and understood hey father i'm a mess i need you to make me whole i need you to show me the way i'm lost i'm broken i have childhood wounds i have wounds that is has came in my adulthood father i just desperately need you consuming fire burn away all things that is not of you in my life for those of you who may have prayed that prayer mm, you're gonna go through some things but it's okay like it is okay and um do not grow weary in well-doing. And I just want to let that fall on someone today as a survivor of sexual abuse, as a survivor of just life in general. I have been through some things in my life, but I have not allowed those things to define me and I have not allowed those things to take away who I am at my core. I am someone who loves people and will give as much as I can if I can pour into whoever's life. I am fully willing to do that and that has nothing to do with what I can gain from it, but instead to just be used, used as a vessel for the benefit of the Lord's kingdom. That is if I could just make a 1% impact, thank you, Father. So that's a little bit about me. Do not allow your hurts and your pains to change who you are in your core. If you go through heartbreak, do not think that, you know, with the next person I'm going to withhold and I'm not going to love again and I'm never going to be in this. And I know like we all go through that, especially like when you're actively healing. But once you can look back and really not feel that pain anymore, thank you, Jesus. I'm having faith that that is my life. It feels so much better. You cannot allow your feelings to cripple you. Whereas me, truth moment, if I'm going through something and it really, really hurts me and it's a very trying situation, like I went through a breakup, many of you know, um, or even just growth periods in your life, you have to be uncomfortable to grow. So going through those seasons, it may not always feel great, but for me personally, I allow myself to feel that. I may cry, I may scream, but I do not give up. And you can never give up. You always have to 10 out of 10 lock in, endure and overcome. So and plug yourself from multiple sources and plug yourself into the ultimate source. So that is Jesus Christ. I share my relationship with Christ on this channel because I want you to know that the goal for me is not perfection but progression every single day because we all fall for fall short of the glory of God but I can do all things through Christ Jesus so as I show you the good the bad and the ugly I hope to inspire someone to grow just a little bit closer to Christ and know that we are never at our final destination we can always learn and grow more in Christ so through this season of isolation. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to just show you and speak to you is a simple fact of how is how do you become okay with being alone? How do you thrive while being alone? How do you master spending time alone? It's really inviting the Holy Spirit with you into your life and know that you are not alone. For he said he would never leave us and he will never forsake us. So we have to take this time, this season, right? Some of you want to be mothers, some of you want to be fathers, some of you want to be business owners, and you're going to have to be in front of people. You're going to have to know how to talk to people. You're going to have to know how to lead people. You're going to have to know how to protect people. You're going to have to know how to 
comfort people. You're going to have to know how to empathize with people. So during this season, God is working within you. He's pulling things out of you. He's stretching you and it feels uncomfortable and it feels like, oh my goodness, Father God, I hear you. But at the end of the day, I just want to let somebody know that it is for a season. The sun will shine again and I don't want you to be depressed and I don't want you to be sad. I want you to heal, actively heal and allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you need to feel. But know that the sun will shine again. So being okay with being alone starts with getting in the presence of God. Some of you don't have the strength to pray. Some of you don't have the strength to say anything but you can just sit in his presence. You can turn on that worship music, rebuke the enemy, rebuke that spirit of depression, oppression, because I dealt with that. Um, depression is so real and it was something that I've battled for so long. And I just wanna speak about this because some of you need to be gracious with your loved ones, check on your loved ones because you never know what they are truly going through. Depression no longer looks like being depressed. You can have someone that's well put together and really going through it on the inside. So being gentle with yourself during the season is so important. Knowing that you can do all things through Christ is who strengthens you is so important. And I just really want to just get that in your head. And I wrote down is to stop running from the person in the mirror. So what do I mean by that? A lot of us truly has so many idols in our lives that we need to lay down and give to our Heavenly Father. How do we do that? We do that by stepping away from the weed. We step away from, step away from the substance abuse. We step away from the friends. You are everything that happens in your life as a go-to person. There's somebody that you're idolizing more than God. Instead of going to the feet of the Father, Father, what, what do you want me to do? Father, do I go left or do I go right? Do you know your Father's voice and a voice of a stranger you will not follow? I want to know my Father's voice and a voice of a stranger I will not follow. And in order for you to do that, you have to be so in tune with him. Some of you are in relationships where you can use your, your father, your parents, or even your spouses or your girlfriend or your boyfriend you know how they think you know how they eat you know how they sound like and in order for that to happen you have to spend quality time with them i want to encourage you during this isolation season to call on god in the midnight hour when the rest of the world is sleeping when the world is still you can be up in the midnight hour worshiping him and praising him for his name is worthy to be praised always and you will be comforted in that i know so many times i've had to cry out to my heavenly father father i just need you to hug me I just need you to comfort me, Holy Spirit. There's no one that I can call on to give me this hug, but Father, I need you right now. You just need to hold yourself and know that Christ is with you and you can do what? All things through Christ is who strengthens you. So stop running from the person in the mirror, the traumas, the hurts, the pain. When you look at yourself, there's things inside of you that you know God has called you to work on, that you know God is calling you to go out and do, but you're running from that stop running. The person in the mirror that you see, the things that you know inside of you, you must heal from. This is the time to do it. This is the time to scream, yell, cry, and and go to your heavenly father. He sees all and he knows all, but yet he's a gentleman. He needs you to invite him in. That is so amazing that the Lord gives us free will. He's not forceful. He doesn't force himself on us, and he's just so amazing. Like, God is so good. So the next thing that I wrote down is taking yourself on dates. Now, once we spiritually get ourselves together, mentally, emotionally, and journaling and reading has been a huge part of my healing journey and isolation season. In order for me to go higher with the Lord, I need to sacrifice. I need to be grounded. I need to be so in tune with his voice and disconnect from this world by fasting, by praying. Um, so I know where to go, where not to go. If you've ever been in a situation you know and you're inside of you, the Holy Spirit is telling you, you may refer to it as, oh, something is just telling me. It's really the Holy Spirit guiding you. You know, don't go there. Don't go do, do that. No. Yes. No. Yes. You need to say, yes, Father, I hear you. Yes, Father, I know your voice. Yes, Father, I will follow you and I will not follow a voice of a stranger. So, um, yes. The next thing that I wrote down is taking yourself on dates. So this is something that I love to do. Um, I started dedicating because, you know, on the seventh day, God rested. So I think this is so important because me, I am definitely like a 
<laughs> workaholic and I have to remind myself that I have to be gracious with myself I have to be proud of myself if no one else can say it to me if no one else is saying it to me there's no one else around you to say it to you tell yourself that I am proud of you you are doing a phenomenal job for just being you unapologetically now that does not mean that we don't want to grow as individuals we're constantly working on ourselves but you don't want to beat yourself down so much that you don't even remember to look at yourself and say i love you self does that make sense yeah it makes sense okay so spending time with myself i love to go out to eat i'm a pretty simple gal so i don't really like to do much i like shopping but being that i'm an adult now I have bigger goals and I don't really spend much time shopping as much unless it has to do with work, YouTube. Other than that, I haven't really been shopping. So I like to eat. So I will go out to eat and I will journal and I will meditate. I've really been trying to push myself to read a lot more because I really think that it helps so much with just growing as an individual. The knowledge is in the book. And then the last thing that I wrote down is just sitting with yourself and healing. So just reiterating what I just said, you guys have seen on this healing journey that I have been on as well as just the self-care channel that I have been doing a lot of meditating, a lot of journaling, and I'm able to look back six months from today, four months from today, a month from today, and see like, where was I at? I journal, I look at each page and I read it. I know exactly how I felt. I know exactly what was going on that day. And I'm able to see, wow, you are now an overcomer. These things don't bother you as much. You are a problem solver. You are an overcomer. That's who you are. You can do all things through. See what I'm saying? Get myself hyped up because of I can do all things through crisis who strengthens me so instead of instead of trying to think back on the top of my head journaling just helps me be able to be more organized and just pinpoint exactly where i was at and really be proud of my journey as healing and growing as an individual does that mean that i'm perfect does that mean that i have reached my destination no i think that i will forever be growing i think that i will forever be healing um but being mature is accepting and acknowledging that you do need to heal that you do need to grow that you do need to humble yourself in order to accept those things and start working on those things so it looks like to me being okay with being alone and thriving the art of being alone is loving who you are as a person but you first have to know who you are as a person a lot of you are so broken and lost you feel these things because of the fact that you haven't connected yourself to the alpha and omega the beginning and the end your creator who knows all he's seen it all he's done it all because he came here in human form is avoid this inside of you that you need to be filled. I want to encourage you today to give your give your life to Jesus Christ. He loves you. He died for you. And he wants to transform your life. He wants to come in and heal those broken pieces. The things that you're hiding from your partner. The things that you're hiding from your friends. The things that no one knows about that happened to you as a child. The things that no one knows about that's happening to you right now. He sees all and he knows all. And he loves you and your life is so worth living for. And I just want to pour into you today and let you know that Jesus Christ loves you and the art of being okay with being alone is the simple fact of knowing who you are in Christ Jesus knowing that there's a purpose and a calling upon my life and that's what I'm here to do every single day until my time is up I want to hear good job well done thou good and faithful servant not depart from me because I never knew you so every day I'm a work in progress every day it's yes and amen to what the father is trying to teach me where he's trying to lead me and um I'm a work in progress I'm not perfect but the first step is just acknowledging the fact that you do need to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are in Christ. You understand the mission. You understand the assignment. She understood the assignment. <laughs> so then you're okay with being alone. You're okay with understanding this is a season. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He will bring me godly friendships. He will bring me kingdom marriages. And in this time, I have to seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto me. So in order for you to thrive in that is to first seek you first the kingdom of god take yourself out on dates 
Be comfortable with who you are. Learn to love yourself and know yourself to the T so that therefore when someone comes into your life, they're just an add-on. You're not dependent of them. And this has been something that I have learned in 2023. Feeling like the world is ripped from under you is a disgusting, horrible feeling. So in order to not go through that, you have to be content. You have to know yourself. You have to love yourself and give your life to Christ. It's the biggest thing that I just cannot stop saying but i hope that this video was helpful to someone if you know someone that really really needs these words of encouragement please send it to them i love you guys so so much i'm sending you so much love and positive energy and i will see you very very soon bye that was a kiss